we've got a new slasher body swap mashup for Friday the 13th, which was actually yesterday. So let's talk about it. Freaky is a mashup of the Freaky Friday body swap concept with the slasher genre. In the film, Vince Vaughn plays a hulking serial killer who swaps bodies with a bullied teenage girl. Freaky is from the writer-director of Happy Death Day, which was a film that I thoroughly enjoyed, so I was pretty excited to check this one out. But before I give you my take on it, let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you somewhere in between? Did you appreciate that it went for it with the horror? Or were you kind of frustrated by it? Let me know what you thought down below, and let's get started talking about the good. And probably the best thing about this film is that it's just a really fun slasher comedy. Probably the closest point of reference for what are actual slasher films, but they're both also send-ups of the genre. They're love letters to the fans and to the movies, but at the same time, they're having fun with the tropes and cliches at the same time. Now, to, to be clear, this is a very different movie from Scream. It sends it up in a different way. It has its own twist, turns on the whole thing, but like I said, both of them are actual slasher films, but also send-ups of the genre. And of course, you have to talk about Vince Vaughn. He is perfectly cast as the serial killer in this film because so when you put him in serial killer mode, he looks like a Jason Voorhees, a Michael Myers standing in the shadows looking terrifying. And then when you do the body swap and he has to run around as a high school girl, it is so funny. He absolutely goes for it in every sense of how they could go with this. So of course, there's just a lot of novelty to Vince Vaughn behaving in this matter, and it's inherently pretty funny. But beyond that, there's also some clever stuff they do with the simple fact that five foot five teenage girl is not used to being six foot five and really strong, and so that plays into several parts as well in clever matters. The other person you have to talk about here is Catherine Newton, who plays the teenage girl, who's also really good. At the beginning, you can believe her as this timid girl that doesn't know how to stand up for herself and is kind of trying to be a people pleaser and just kind of navigate through the frustrations of have these dead, terrifying eyes as she's just looking around, figuring things out. She can be menacing and you buy both of them. And for this movie to work, you have to be able to buy each of our two leads in each of these roles. And I think you really can. You can buy the fact that this swap has happened and it works really well. Another thing you got to talk about with this movie is that it does deliver as a slasher film, there are some nasty kills. Excellent! One of the big criticisms of Happy Death Day, and especially the sequel, is that they were sanitized PG-13 slasher films where you don't really get a bunch of gnarly and nasty kills. That is not the case with this movie. Right out of the gate, there's a guy killed in a creative, gnarly fashion with blood, guts, limbs cut off, people cut in half. There's a lot of blood and nastiness in this movie, and some of them are pretty creative in the way that they are pulled off. From there, let's move on to the mixed aspects of the film. The big thing here is that there's some inherent awkwardness to the central premise of the film. When you have a 50 plus year old man swap bodies with a teenage girl, that's a little bit uncomfortable. And part of the fun of the movie is that it's just towing the line. It's like right up to what is and is not appropriate. And depending on your level of comfort, you might think that it goes too far. In particular, there's a sequence that takes place in a car. One set of people that view this movie are probably going to absolutely love how outrageous this movie goes and how far it takes things. The other group of people are going to be like, no, nah, I think you went a little bit too far. That was a bit too uncomfortable not crazy about what you did there. I would tend to be in the latter category, but at the same time, comedy inherently is transgressive. To get the right moments, you gotta go up to the line and sometimes you're gonna cross it a little bit. So I don't necessarily hold it against the film, but there was some stuff that it, it did that I, I wasn't crazy about. From there, let's move on to the bad. The first thing that comes to mind, and this is 
mostly just a nitpick, but it kind of does the classic movie ugly duckling thing where they cast a girl that looks like a model and then they just give her kind of some frizzy hair and pretend as if she's ugly. Not a great plan. Now I understand that even pretty girls get bullied and people say things, I, I get all of that, but in the movie, the specific criticisms pretend as if she's unattractive and no guy would want anything to do with her. That's literally the dialogue that's thrown at her to make fun of her. And as this was happening, my wife and I are literally looking at her like, who are they looking at? That's obviously a very pretty girl. This angle for the bullying doesn't make sense if you cast this girl in the role. But really, I don't have a lot of problems with this film. In general, it's not trying to hit a home run. It's not trying to reinvent the slasher genre. It's not trying to state something about the human condition. It's just trying to have some fun with the slasher genre. It's going for a double, and I think it got on second base. Real quick, before I give you my final take on this one, be sure to let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Also, I've done a bunch of rankings of classic horror franchises. You can check those out right up here. In just a couple weeks back, I did a 31 on 31 where I ranked 31 different creature features. You can also check that out right up here after this video. Freaky is a very welcome addition to the slasher genre and I had an absolute blast with it. Overall, I'll go with a B plus on the entertainment scale. It's in 8.5, and if you like slasher films, definitely check this one out. If you want more content from me, check out these videos right over there. That's my horror rankings right there. That's my 31 on 31. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely like something over there. Thank you so much for watching, and keep talking movies too much.